Okay, guys, I've come across this article and it's really quite interesting um, because it ties into um, the other mysterious matter that's coming from the sun that scientists don't understand, all the, the mysterious particles that are uh, emanating from um, or being emitted by the sun. So this is basically going on to say that we have strange cosmic rays uh, that are just basically hitting certain areas of the planet and uh, they've detected them down in uh, the northern skies as well as the um, southern skies. Uh, however, it seems to be that uh, the southern skies might be experiencing a bit more. I'm, I'm not too sure, but they do um, definitely mention uh, more about the southern skies and maybe this is because this is where they have uh, their observatory, the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory at the South Pole. So now they're also saying that um, these particles are, are coming from a part, uh, a place in our solar system that they don't really understand uh, because well basically there's nothing there that makes sense so they can't understand why they're coming from this area and um, they feel that they have to come from it has to come from this area uh, because it's 0.03 light years from earth and if it went further out you know if they came from a, a, an area further out in um, in space then the uh, galactic magnetic fields would be deflecting the particles so much so that the um, hot spots would actually be smeared across the sky and not just in one area but um, no such sources are known to exist so Oh my God, science doesn't have the answers? You're saying scientists don't know something? Oh, wow, you know? Jeez, gee, uh, that's, that's absolutely amazing because uh, from what I'm hearing, it seems that scientists have all the answers. It seems that they can send their bits of tin up into the sky with some cameras on them and um, we have all the answers of the universe, folks. You know, don't, don't you realise that? Yeah, right. I mean, we probably only know about 3% of what's out in the universe, if that, even though we're, we're made to believe that scientists have all the answers. And, you know, quite frankly, they don't. And, you know, for all these people that comment and they say, oh, it can't be a brown dwarf coming because brown dwarfs would be interacting with our sun. Really? And you know this because you've been here on the planet when a brown dwarf has orbited our sun before, have you? You know what that looks like? No, you don't. So all you're basing it on is theory. And how many theories have we been uh, watching lately get destroyed? Like uh, the moons are all dead. Uh, that was one. And, um, oh, I don't know. The sun has cycles. I mean, they only discovered that about 20 years ago, you know. Um, what else? You know, I could list them as long as my arm what they've been revising and reassessing. But, you know, they never really make this into the mainstream media, just like the carbon-14 thing. Yeah, you know, carbon-14 is no longer a constant matter. So, you know, since they've uh, seen these strange or detected these strange um, particles from the sun that are changing the decay rates of matter, why haven't we seen a press, a press conference about that? I mean, why haven't we seen everything that's been carbon dated? So that's all of our antiquities. Uh, reassessed you know because they can't rely on that anymore carbon dating does not work anymore I mean many of us have never believed in carbon dating anyway but this is rock solid proof that it's not working and it's never worked and it never should have been used but no we don't hear about that do we because scientists are aligned with these lower energy groups you have these arrogant older scientists and archaeologists that sit on these boards and that basically choose what gets um, released as as fact and theory or, or dismissed and laughed at you know and and many of these archaeologists and many of these scientists who have actually come forward with the truth because things don't add up and they've come forward with alternative um, theories to make sense of what they're finding and what they're discovering have basically been discredited, um, lost their jobs, you know, they've been, you know, laughed at and scoffed at and dismissed out of hand. And people just are so willing to just accept all of this bull crap because it's fed to us by these so-called experts. So please, unless you've been on the planet and you've been alive for the last time the brown dwarf passed us, Please don't comment that uh, you know what the temperature is and you know that we're going to be able to see it because it should be in interacting with our sun. Because quite frankly, you know jack shit. Okay, you know what you're told. You know what NASA feeds you. You know, that's all we know at the moment is what NASA feeds us. And we don't know if any of us are being led up the garden path with that, with this Comet Ellenon thing. 
You know, comet element element could turn in to just being a comet. And then we all go, oh, okay, well, that didn't turn out. And bang, something's coming from behind. And that's what's happening. Because I'm telling you now, there is something out there. Comets do not cause gravitational effects on planets during alignments. It just doesn't happen. The only thing that does that are brown dwarfs. Okay? The only thing that does that are some kind of planetary mass that has enough mass to cause this gravitational effect on our planet. And I would like to know the odds of it being a coincidence that the last three major earthquakes were during alignments. Last three alignments with common element included in the mix have been for the Chile earthquake, the New Zealand earthquake and the Japan earthquake. Okay, I would like some myth mathematician out there to give me the actual number of the odds of that being a coincidence because it's probably just so far out there it's not even, you know, funny. It's, it's a complete joke. So there is something coming. The sun is reacting strangely. The sun is emitting strange particles. We've got um, cosmic ray hotspots now, you know, in, in different areas emitting from some strange place in uh, our solar system, you know, that they can't detect. You know, there's things going on that they don't understand. And this is why I love these articles, because it proves that they don't know what's happening all the time, that they don't understand, they don't have answers for everything, like they make us believe. You know? Reality isn't as it seems, people. Though you wouldn't know it from looking at the 98% of the population on this planet that are freaking sheeple. You know, I didn't realise just how many sheeple we had until I saw this last um, plan rolled out from these lower energy groups. And I'm just watching me, I'm looking around me and I'm going, oh my God, they're, be they're believing this. And I'm thinking, oh, I, I just can't believe how stupid people are. I'm now seeing uh, news reports coming from the US saying that they're going to start searching people in shopping malls. You know, fuck people, wake up. I don't, you know, how much more do you need to be screwed? Can you really tell me that you are looking around at your planet at the moment and are happy with seeing everyone be poisoned by radiation, seeing the bankers screwing you over so you have to decide whether you're going to feed your family or pay the mortgage, you know? Seeing that every time you go to fill up your car with fuel, it's becoming more and more and more expensive. You know, when are you going to fucking wake up? Because you're affecting us all. You stupid sheeple have to wear some of this responsibility. I'm not just going to look at you and say, poor pathetic sheeple, it's not your fault. Because it is your fault. It, quite frankly, is your fault that we are in the position that we are. Quite frankly, it is your fault that our children are going to inherit a poisoned planet that has been stripped, poisoned, you know, plundered, basically made unlivable, you know, thousands of species every day becoming extinct, governments controlling your every move, you know, searching you when you go shopping. This is what we're leaving our children and that's okay? You know, for every single one of you sheeple that are watching this video, and not many of you would be, but if by chance the heading has somehow uh, sparked your interest and you're listening to this if you turn this video off and go and flick on your television and turn on Dancing with the Stars or some other mindless piece of shit you should be ashamed of yourself you should be ashamed to call yourself a human being because quite frankly I am ashamed that I'm a species on this planet at this moment I am ashamed of what we have done to this planet. And if every one of you sheeple can just stick your head in the sand knowing that your children are going to inherit what you are too scared to face, then you should hang your head in shame now. And I'm quite frankly sick of it. You know, and, I, and I've been 
doing these videos trying to wake people up and I'm just wondering whether it's even fucking possible. When you see shit like that on the TV about Bin Laden, this totally made up orchestrated crap, I mean it couldn't be any more Hollywood and you know totally illusionary than what we've just seen and you are all hanging on to that illusion with such might you know you don't want to let it go do you no matter what you're going to see no matter what's around you the planet's going crazy we all know the planet's just totally in overdrive at the moment there is so much happening it, it the world really is cr a crazy place at the moment but you just hang on to that illusion don't you go and turn the tv on it's not happening you know get in your car and go to work tomorrow and go and chat about next top model you know let's just pretend it's all a bad dream and really what's important is that you can get home tonight and flick on the tv and watch you know american idol or dancing with the stars or some other piece of fluffy bullshit that they feed to you okay and that's really what's important so there you go kids that's what happened to your planet that's what happened that's why you can't drink water anymore that's why you're dying of cancer Okay, mum and dad thought that watching Dancing with the Stars, okay, and Next Top Model was more important than leaving you with a healthy environment and a healthy planet. Okay, they were lazy, all right? They couldn't care. They were more concerned about making sure that, um, you know, they selfishly uh, had, uh, you know their little illusion that they could live by than actually breaking free from it and doing something getting off their ass and actually demanding better from their governments and demanding better from the world you know I, I just can't see how anyone can can look around this planet at the moment and actually be happy to just exist like they did 10 years ago as though nothing's changed you know we've got Fukushima Basically, all the groundwater is contaminate, contaminated around Fukushima. We've got radiation being detected in Darwin, in Australia. We've got the, we've got the worst nuclear disaster to ever happen in history. But don't worry about it, guys. Just flick on that telly and watch Dancing with the Stars. You know, your children aren't worth it. That's what you're saying. You know, you're just acting like all of this is normal and it's not normal. You need to understand that. You are living in an illusion that they've created. You know, and I mean, I know there's going to be a great shift. I know that for fact because I don't believe that there have been other civilizations that haven't gone down the same path as us and have stuffed around splitting atoms and fucking around with shit that they never should have. Of course there have been civilizations that have done that. And the earth is purified. The earth has come through it. And this is what this brown dwarf will do. This is what the red kachina will do. You know, look up the Hopi prophecy. It's called the purifier. And that's what's going to happen. And 98% of the planet that are sheeple, you're going to be purified, which means you're not going to make it through this shift. And you've got no one to blame but yourself. I'm not going to feel sorry for you anymore. If you're going to constantly lap up this bullshit like this, I'm sorry. It's, it's past me feeling sorry. You know, wake up. Wake the hell up. You're selling us all out. And I've got a few months here to exist before, you know, the next shift happens. So I don't want to exist in a planet full of idiots that are allowing this to happen to us. And the next thing now, it's going to be uh, terrorist attacks. You know, how many people are going to get killed from these mock terrorist attacks, you know, that are going to be perpetrated by your government? Yes, your government. You know, wake the hell up. This isn't the Muslims. This isn't, it's nothing about Muslims, Christians. It's nothing. It's, that's just what they're creating to create hate. So, okay, well, that was my rant and I knew I was going to finish off with the rant. And I needed a rant because, um, as I said, I, I just really cannot understand the complacency that I'm seeing around me. It's quite frankly disgusting. So, um, you know, we, we need to, to wake up people. And I know that most of the people that watch this, most of my subs are, are very awake. And, and I'm not directing this at you. 
this is to the sheeple. So much love, guys, and um, I'll leave it here. See you later.